Hello and welcome everyone to our YouTube channel Drishti IS English. My name is Pragya and in today's episode of Environment Primer, we are going to discuss a very important topic and we are going to dive into the world of coral reefs. The title of our today's discussion is Vanishing Coral Reefs. So what are these coral reefs? They are breathtakingly beautiful. They are very important for our uh, planet's biodiversity. So now in this discussion, we will be studying about the following points of discussion. We will firstly see what are these coral reefs. We are also going to see where are these coral reefs found. And we are also going to talk about the preservation efforts which are going on internationally and nationally for the coral reefs. We are also going to see the climate change impact on coral reefs. And we are also going to see a practice question for a prelims examination and a practice question for your mains examination. So, if I talk about the background of our today's topic. Climate change or global warming is not only affecting the human life, it is also affecting the marine ecosystem or the underwater ecosystem, especially the coral reefs. It is uh, estimated that 99% of the corals will die by 2050 due to the climate change and uh, the other activities as well. So, uh, some activities may be natural and some activities are human made. But the conclusion is that they are dying at a uh, unprecedented rate and we need to have a positive action to save them. Now, what are these coral reefs? Let us understand. So, if I talk about these coral reefs, they are essentially just big limestone structures built by thousands of tiny coral creatures called polyps. So, let me explain you better by a pictorial representation of these polyps. So, what are these polyps? They are dynamic skeleton like invertebrate. As you can see, they are very, they are skeleton light and they do not have a vertebra in them. So, they are dynamic in uh, skeleton like invertebrate and they are also divided into two parts the soft corals and the hard corals. So, these hard corals are known as stony corals. And it is a type of coral characterized by their hard skeletons. And these hard corals are the building blocks of the coral reefs. So, we understood that coral reefs are built by a tiny creature known as polyps. And they are also built by hard corals known as the stony corals. Now, let me explain you the anatomy of a polyp. So, as you can see, this is a basic anatomy of a polyp. You see they have tentacles like skeleton like structure. You also see there is a mouth. There is this nematosis of the polyps and there is this zooxanthelle or the photosynthesis producing algae. So, what happens is they have this algae within them and they are in a symbiotic relationship with these algae who provide them with essential nutrition and food. So, this is an anatomy of a basic coral or a basic polyp which is uh, there too, which is the building block of the corals. If you ask me ma'am, how coral reefs are formed then? So, what happens is, see, this is the sea, okay, imagine this is a sea and they are this big, big rocks, underlying big, big rocks. So, what happens is the corals, the free swimming larva of the corals. For example, this is a larva, free swimming larva. It comes in the contacts with this underlying rocks and it settles down on it. It settles down on these hard rocks which is found underlying the. Then what happens is it starts releasing calcium carbonate. Calcium carbonate. And this calcium carbonate forms a very hard structure, hard skeleton like structure. And this hard skeleton like structure facilitates the settling of soft corals on them. So, this is how they come together and they form, uh, acquire a biological shape and they come in the shape of a coral reef. Now, let me show you a very interesting pictorial representation of a coral reef. So, as you can see, this is a coral reef and as you can observe the vibrant flora and fauna of this coral reef and they are very important underlying marine ecosystem which are currently threatened. Now, let us analyze where are these coral reefs found around the 
world. So coral reefs are found in all three of the Earth's ocean that have portions in the tropics. So this is very important. Is it can be asked in your prelims examination the location of the coral reefs. So always remember they are always found in the tropical and the subtropical region, and they cover all of the three oceans of the Earth. That is the Atlantic Ocean, Indian Ocean, and the Pacific Ocean. Atlantic, Indian and the Pacific Ocean. Pacific Ocean is more suitable due to its warm and clear water. And um, if you ask me about the famous coral reefs, they are the Great Barrier Reef or, or it is the largest reef situated in the Queensland, Australia. Then there is this Belize Barrier Reef. Then there is Raja Ampat reef and all of these are very famous. These are the examples of a famous coral reefs around the world. If you ask me ma'am where are they located in India? In India you will find, find them in the Gulf of Kutch, Gulf of Mannar, Park Bay, Andaman and Nicobar and Lakshwadeep Islands. So patches of coral reefs are also found in the Ratnagiri, Malwan and the Reddy, South Mumbai and the Gaveshani Bank located in the west of Mangalore. So apart from these locations they are also found in, found in these locations. Not only this on the east coast between Parangi Petai, south of Kudalore and Pondicherry. Corals are found in abundance. So basically this is the location of corals in India. Now let me explain you the location uh, of coral reefs in India by help of a pictorial representation. As you can see this is the map of India and they are found in Gulf of Kutch. Then in Arabian Sea, Lakshwadeep Islands. Then they are also found on the east coast of South Mumbai. Then they are also found in Gulf of Mannar and Palk Bay. Then in the Bay of Bengal, they are found in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. So this is the location of the coral reefs in India. Now let us discuss the preservation that efforts that we are taking at both international and national level to protect the dying coral reefs. So if I talk about the coral reefs, they cover less than 0.5% of the earth surface. But they are home to about 25% of all marine species. I have explained you this before also that they are very important for our Earth's bio, planet's biodiversity. They are a home to a great amount of marine biodiversity. They exhibit very beautiful flora and fauna and that is why we need to protect them. And they are currently under threat unfortunately. The reasons for this threat are some of the threats are natural such as diseases, predators and storms. Some of the threats are also man-made including pollution, sedimentation, unsustainable fishing practices and climate change which is raising ocean temperatures and causing ocean acidification. So what the climate change is doing? Basically it is uh, leading to a process known as the coral bleaching. Coral bleaching is the process which is caused by the climate change or the warming of ocean temperatures. So we will understand coral bleaching in our further slides. If you ask me simply in simple language what is this process? Coral bleaching happens when the corals are stressed due to the effects of warming of the ocean or ocean acidification. Due to the stress they start throwing out this beneficial algae which are present inside them. They start throwing them out and hence they starve because these algae produce food for them and when, once they throw these algae out of their system, they are not able to eat. So they starve and hence they die slowly and slowly. We will understand this process in detail in our further slides. Now let us see the international initiatives that we are taking for preserving these coral reefs. So if I talk about the international initiatives, it includes the International Coral Reef Initiative or the ICRI and it is an informal partnership between nations and organizations which strives to preserve coral reefs and related ecosystems around the world. So this RC, ICRI is working very hard to save the uh, coral reefs. So what it is doing, it is uh, sending scuba, scuba divers underwater and the scientists are able to create these corals, the shells of these corals artificially and it is going uh, underwater, the scuba divers are going underwater and they are injecting uh, these uh, algae in the corals 
which are dying. So what uh, what happens is they uh, start accepting these algae again, and they start uh, producing food for them, and he and hence they preserve the corals from dying. The Global Fund for Coral Reefs is a blended finance instrument to mobilize action and resources to protect and restore coral reef ecosystems. Not only this, this uh, fund is uh, given, uh, this global fund is also created and it also has contributions from the rich and private parties who help in the preservation of these coral marine ecosystems because people realize that there is a need to save them and they also realize the threat of global warming on the coral reefs. In fact, this threat is uh, currently in the news also and it keeps coming in the news again and again that our coral, coral reefs are dying at an unprecedented rate. If you talk about the national efforts or the efforts that is being taken by the Indian government, they include, corals are included in the Schedule 1 list of the Wildlife Protection Act of 1972. So, these corals, they are the hard corals. As I was explaining to you, these hard corals are the bounding blocks of the coral reefs and that is why they have been included in Schedule 1 of the Wildlife Protection Act so as to give them maximum protection. Then there is the Environment Protection Act of 1986 which we have enacted. It is a very important environmental legislation by the Indian Parliament and this also talks about the preserving of coral reefs that are situation in, situated in India. Then there is Coastal Regulation Zone Notification or the CRZ of 1991 under this Environmental Protection Act and this is specifically bans the coral minings. Then there is Marine Protected Areas or the MPAs. These Marine Protected Areas empowers the Parliament to protect the marine ecosystem in them. So in India, the Parliament is empowered to enact legislation to uh, make out schemes, to bring out schemes for the protection of the coral reefs that are situated in India. And this is the efforts taken by our Indian Parliament in this regard. Now, let us analyze one of the most important aspects that is the impact of climate change on the coral reefs. So, if I talk about the climate change impact, we were talking about this process of coral bleaching in our previous slides. So, I will come to this process of coral bleaching, but let me make you understand the background. What the climate change is doing? It is warming the ocean temperatures. See, the ideal temperature for the corals to survive is just 22 to 30 degrees Celsius. But the ocean temperature is constantly increasing due to the impact of climate change and this in turn is threatening the corals and it also leads to the process of uh, coral bleaching. Let me explain you the process by a graphical representation. So, see, this is what I was explaining to you before also. The, there is this warming, there is this ocean and then there is warming of ocean. So, the, this is the own original polyps and the algae which produce food for them. And these algae, due to the warming of this ocean temperature, are thrown out by the polyps. These dynamic skeleton like invertebrate is, uh, structures. So, this uh, algae is present within this structure only. So, what happens is due to the warming of uh, ocean, they come under stress and if they come under stress and they are not able to survive, like they are not able to bear that stress, they start throwing out these algae outside their system and this in turn make, makes it a bleached coral. It gives a white color to the coral because these algae give the vibrant color, colors to the coral and if they are thrown out by the corals, they become white in color and slowly, slowly they start dying. So, this is a dead coral covered in the turfing algae. So, when these algae come out like the skeletons also break because of the bleaching process and when the skeletons break, the corals are subjected to predators as well. So, that is why they die slowly, slowly and then they are attacked by other creatures and they start to die. And this is happening due to the impacts of climate change, which, which is warming the ocean temperatures. And that is why we are saying that the coral reefs are slowly, slowly dying and we need to reduce the impact of climate change so as to protect the marine ecosystem as well as the coral reefs. So, basically coral bleach 
is the significant impact on the corals of the climate change. With this, we come to a conclusion of our today's discussion. We have seen the coral reefs. We have also understood how are they formed. We have also seen the preservation efforts at both international and national level. And we have also seen how climate change is leading to coral bleaching and hence in turn leading to the death of the corals. Now, let us understand a practice question for your prelims examination. So, the question is consider the following statements. Your statement number one is most of the world coral reefs are in the tropical waters. Your statement number two is more than one third of the world's coral reefs are located in the territories of Australia, Indonesia and Philippines. Which of the following statements are correct? Kindly let uh, drop your answers in the comment box below. Your options are option A is one only, option B is two only, option C is both one and two and option D is none of the above. Now, let us discuss a practice question for your mains examination. So, the question is, assess the impact of global warming on the coral life system with example. You will firstly introduce how, what is this coral reef, how are they formed as I have discussed in my lecture today. Then you will uh, write about the impact of climate change on these coral, coral reefs. You will write, explain the whole process of coral bleaching. You will explain how they are slowly, slowly dying due to the impact of climate change. And I have explained to you this in my discussion today. You will write all of those points. And you can conclude that we need to speed up our climate action efforts to save our coral reefs from dying. As it is predicted that 99% of these coral reefs will die by 2050 if we do not accelerate our action on climate change. So, you can conclude a, a very holistically that we need to increase our preservation efforts both at, at international level and at national level as well so as to protect these beautiful underwater marine ecosystems because if we lose corals we will definitely lose a very important part of our planet's biodiversity and it should not happen because it is consisting of 25 percent of the marine ecosystem though the coral reefs occupy a very less space but they are home to a great variety of flora and fauna marine flora and fauna. So, this is very important to sustain our plants biodiversity. So, you can conclude holistically. With, I hope this session was insightful for you. If you have any feedback regarding this session, kindly drop it in the comment box below. If you found the today's discussion to be helpful, kindly like the video and subscribe to our channel for more such updates. Thank you.